very, very, very fast fly. It hits the water, swims to the bottom, comes back up in jerks. So when you're fishing this thing, you'll want to, and I sort of stress this because if you put your rod straight out with your line, like you do with a lot of the nymphs and stuff, you know, and just pull it in slowly, you have a straight line. If you do that with a water boatman and give it quick little jerks, the fish hits this thing very quickly. You'll break your line. Give it a little angle, or up on an angle, because when that fish hits, he normally hammers this thing. So have something with a little spring in between you and that fish. So anyways, what we do is uh, primer hook, which I had, and you prime it right down around into the bend. Pretty good. <clears throat> Oops, I got one already. I didn't know. You, You take, you take the uh, shell back and you cut it on a, a nice little angle. And I find that it, before you take the backing off of this, you cut it because it, it works a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. Yes, I thought a lot of the, a lot of the coloring has come off. Now you want the color part that I to go down on the bottom of the, on the, uh, put the color part down, in other words the shiny, whoops, sorry, color part up, so that the shiny part is down on your hook and you wind it on. You want the shiny part to come over the back of your fly when you're finished. You take a little Glow bright chenille, chenille. You pick off oh, about an eighth of an inch or so, so they just got the string, and you tie that on to the down the back of the hook. You come up about halfway on your hook and put about four or five turns. Have the glow bright on. Tie it, tie it off. And he says, "We want to put our legs on. Take about an inch." And you want to put it on top of your hook. Some people tie knot in and tie this stuff on with a knot. I found that I don't like it because it had a tendency to curl. Okay, now well, maybe we can get some figure eights put into it. You want them to stick out fairly good. I should be back a little bit further. There we go. <coughs> yeah, silver tinsel chenille is the next. Again, you strip a little bit back so you got just the string part. <coughs> just need a couple of turns. Of the glow bright. I'm crowding my hook. If you take your hackle, you peel it back to wherever you want at the tie in your hackle. You don't need much hackle because this is, again, it's just to have a few legs on the bottom so that it looks like it's got legs.
And the hackle is a little bit bigger than the hook size? Uh, really, it, this is not a dry flight, so we're not worried about it too much, the length of them, just to show that it has legs. They're fairly long. I guess. Yeah. I, actually, I cut mine back afterwards, Bernie, to make them a little stiffer. And you bring your shell back over, and you just give it just a little bit of a, a pull, just to... Then you, after you got it tied down three or four times, take and go over it a couple of times this way, uh, and then you can cut it off. That will just hold it so it stays on a little better. Then you put your couple of half hitches in it and we'll finish it. Get on there. Then you can cut your legs. Don't pull on the, when you're when you're Cutting your legs, don't pull on this material because it will stretch. Just sort of hold it. Otherwise, you'll be cutting your legs a little short. He says a little bit of glue on that, and there you go. <coughs> well, I'll tell you, when the fish come they just love this thing. If, if, the, if they're flying, or even if the fish are hungry, you want to, like I said before, you want to give it two or three quick pulls, let it rest for a while, it'll sink a bit, it, and then bring it up fairly quick draws. So is the idea to put that right on the bottom and then bring it up? <clears throat> you throw this out and let it sink, and, and to, it should sink fairly quickly. You can weight this if you have enough, you know, you can use a heavy, heavy hook. Mm -hmm. I don't like heavy hooks because they're too big and thick. They don't penetrate as well. This is a nice hook. And if you have weight like I have, I have some nice fine weight, uh, very fine uh, lead core, and you can put a, a wrap or two on that, and that'll make it sink faster. Or you can use a sinking tip leader or sinking tip fly line. Mm -hmm. It's Basically, a, a wet. This you gotta remember. This is a wet fly. Mm -hmm. It go. They go right to the bottom, to to, and then they come back up, and they when, and the the idea is when they come up, they get little bits of air, and that's what the silver represents is the air bubble. And they when they come when they're in the air and they hit they hit you can hear them hit. I've never had too much. I've never really been out there when I've when they've been hitting me too much, but I have used this fly. And you, like I said, I always put I pretty near always put my rod out at an angle yeah. and strip fairly fast. And when these when they chunk hit this thing, they usually hit it pretty hard.